Hey, I'm Kat, and today we're going to open my August 2022 Macy's Beauty Box. The Macy's Beauty Box is $15 per month and is usually pretty bad. It was really, really good about a year ago and it's just kind of gone downhill since then and they haven't made any announcements like, hey, we're going to send worse stuff. I don't know what they could say to make it better, but they're shipping later and later, usually not till like the last week of the month. And a lot of the boxes are themed around events that happen earlier in the month. It just doesn't make sense. I don't get it. But at $15, it's a pretty inexpensive little treat to get in the mail every month. So I kind of hold out hoping that we're going to go back to the better boxes. Your Macy's Beauty Box every month includes a bunch of samples of products. Sometimes you get full size and then one bonus item. Until this year, the bonus item was always a makeup bag, which was really fun. Now it's been things like a journal. Not that I would know because the month they had the journal, Macy's just didn't send my box or a plastic cup or a cheap shower cap. You never know what you're going to get as your extra item. Sometimes it has something to do with beauty. Other times it does not. As I'm opening this box, I'm going to keep a tally down below of the value of each of the items in the size that we received it so you can see how far your $15 a month goes with the Macy's Beauty Box. Every month you receive a little card that advertises all of the items that should be inside your box. Unfortunately, for the last couple of months, we haven't received all of the items advertised. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully this month we get everything we're supposed to. Inside there is a breakdown of all the products and then Macy's retail value that they're putting on the items in your box. So Macy's says that this box will be a $46.40 value. Let's see if we agree with that. You also receive a coupon every month to use at Macy's or Macy's.com. It's a dollar off coupon. So this month it's $5 off of a $20 beauty purchase. I don't place any value on these coupons because I don't shop at Macy's. All of the Macy's in my area have gone out of business and I've really never seen anything compelling enough on their website to make me make an online purchase. They do have a gift with purchase right now for spending a certain amount in their beauty department and that gift is available online. It just isn't really good enough for me to want to pull the trigger. Everything inside the Macy's Beauty Box comes wrapped up in hot pink tissue paper. I'm pretty sure the Macy's keeps whoever the country's leading supplier of hot pink tissue paper is in business because they use a lot of it to wrap the items in this box. The first item in this month's box is really disappointing. When you think of the Macy's Beauty Box, you expect to receive items sold at Macy's, right? Like actual in-store Macy's and get brands that Macy's sells in store. And the first item, I don't think they sell it in store. This is a little eyeshadow quad from Chella. But the shades are Femme, Dynamic, Instincts, and Vitality. I will not be swatching this. I'm gonna donate this, because uh, I've received a lot of these. I, I don't I don't need this. Also, Chella eyeshadow, not very good. At least my exact same four pan palette that I received from them in these shades in another box was super patchy and not very pigmented. So this isn't for me. Next, we have some perfume samples from Jean-Paul Gaultier. We have La Belle. Also from Jean-Paul Gaultier, we have Le Beau. So we have a men's and a woman's fragrance, or a masculine scented and feminine scented fragrance. From Origins, we have the tiniest little Dinsing Into the Glow Brightening Serum. From Bodyography, not a brand I've heard of, that doesn't mean anything. I don't know every brand. This is an eye pencil in Bali Bronze. Bronze eyeliner sounds kind of fun, so I will keep this. It's a nice, creamy pencil. Weirdly, it's kind of greasy, so it's patchy. Like, there's product everywhere. I drew a heart and filled it in, and there's product everywhere, but it looks patchy because 
it's so greasy that the color doesn't transfer right. Here's this shade. This is from Lancome. This is their Monsieur Big Mascara. This is what the little sample guy looks like. And this is the wand. I haven't tried this, but a lot of people love this mascara. And then we have a Dior foundation sample of little pots. I have a big issue with getting foundation samples like this. You would think it'd be a great idea for shade matching, but the consistency of the product that you receive in these little foil bubbles is different than the consistency of the product that you receive in the foundation bottle if you go and buy it. So I've been duped before. I have found so many foundations that I loved. I loved the coverage, I loved the shade based on these little kind of bubble samples. And then when I bought the actual product, it was totally different. The shade was the same, but the formula was completely different. And I wasn't a fan so this isn't thrilling and the last item in our box is our extra item this month it is a makeup brush the extra item is never branded it's just something made in China exclusively for Macy's <laughs> what what uh, this brush is so like stiff. I don't know what you could even use it for. This is what it looks like, but like, yeah, it not soft enough for use on a face. This is weird. It's a good idea in a beauty box, right? To include like a beauty tool. This is, has a nice weight to it. The bristles are kind of gross. Like they just, they feel they feel gross. I, I cannot use this on my face. So that's it for this month's Macy's Beauty Box. Let me know your thoughts. I've heard a lot of people's boxes arrived without the Cella 4 Pan Palette. I honestly wouldn't have minded if mine didn't have that, but I feel like people should receive everything they paid for, so that's a bummer that people aren't receiving it. Hopefully next month's Macy's Beauty Box is better. They did put a note up on their website that the September box will be valued at $99. So it's gotta be something great in there, right? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.